When it's time to look for a new job, everyone can create a resume and a LinkedIn profile. As developers, we can create our own custom portfolio website, and we also have our GitHub profiles where prospective employers can actually look at some of our code. But what if I told you that you're probably not making the most of your GitHub profile, and there's actually a way to make your job application stand out? GitHub has a feature called GitHub Profile Readme, which basically enables you to add a full readme to your profile page. You do this by creating a repository that has the exact same name as your GitHub username, and then you just add a readme. Let's take a look at some good examples, and I'll show you how to create an interesting and fun readme for your own profile. All right, so I have a few examples of some GitHub profile readmes here. And this first one, Monica Powell, you can just see it's very simple. She's just used her own image header. Um, and she has a little bio here, a couple of links, and then just links to finding her elsewhere on the web. Now, the cool thing about uh, these readmes is if you want to know how that the uh, developer has built them, you have the code right there in front of you, right? So we can click into the repo. You can see her username is Monica, and then the repo obviously needs to be exactly the same name. Uh, so we'll click into the repo and we'll find the readme in here. Uh, so that opens it up uh, in the full page. And then you can just click on this little display the source blob um, button here. So now if you're wondering how someone has created their own GitHub readme, you can see the actual code. So she's using an image tag for the source and links to this image. Now this image is GitHub user content. So she's uploaded this image to her local repo. You can use uh, links to images on the web, of course, uh, but bear in mind, they need to then load every time. So it's better to host it locally if you can. So you see no delay. Um, and then we just look at down here, find me around, around the web. You've got a little emoji here and a link and then a couple of uh, bullet points. So if we look at this next one, uh, this is a little bit different. He does have his own header here. Um, then he has an about me with, again, a few different emojis, uh, front end engineer at Razor Pay, and he links to that website. Uh, he's got a little, uh, what are these, little um, PNGs that link to, um, or that display the, the languages and tools that he's familiar with. And then he has a GitHub stats thing here. So I'll show you how to use that and we'll do that in our own demo. Uh, but again, uh, we can go into the repo and then quickly click into the readme and see how he's done it. So again, this is a linked image. Um, he links it to his own personal website. Um, and then down here, we'll see his readme stats. So you can see here, the source is this URL which is an API and he just passes in his own username. Um, so we'll look at that later. And then he's got a few links here. Last one here, this is a little bit different. Looks like this guy has linked to his, uh, is it blog posts or is it actual code releases? Yeah, it's code releases. Um, so if we have a look at the repo and go into the readme code, um, they're just hard links. So he's obviously updating these uh, manually. Cool. Uh, this is my personal one. Um, I'm not going to touch this for now, though. I think it could use a little bit of improvement. Um, but you can see I've just got a, a little bit of a bio and links to some of the companies I worked for um, about where I live and um, how I learned to code and, and then some link to my own personal projects. So I've created my own uh, demo repo here. I'm not going to touch, like I said, I'm not going to touch um, my existing one for now. Um, but you can see I've created this Ian Lenehan demo um, account on GitHub. And the first thing I need to do is create a repository. Now, if you're new to GitHub, which I'm expecting you're probably not considering you're watching this channel, it actually gives you prompts on how to create the readme. But I'm going to create a, a repository and do it as if, you know, this was an existing account. So in your own GitHub account, you want to do create a new repository and you need to name the repository exactly the same as your profile name. So I'm going to do Ian Lenehan dash demo. And so that needs to be the same. And down here now it says you found a secret. Uh, it's a special repository that you can use to add a readme to your GitHub profile, make sure it's public and initialize it with a readme to get started. So it's public and we're going to initialize with a readme. So click add a readme and then create repository. Now, the cool thing about this is you don't need to use Git on the command line. You can do this all in GitHub itself. 
Uh, so to get started, we're gonna click on the pencil icon and you can see here are some commented out code, which is basically some ideas. So I'm gonna remove the actual comment stuff and we're gonna have a preview of this just to see what it actually looks like. So click on preview and then you can see, like this is pretty cool, the emojis uh, actually make bullet points stand out so much more. Um, so we'll go back into edit file and what I'm gonna do is for now, I'm gonna actually commit the changes and we'll click on my profile and boom, there you go. You can see this is exactly what will show up when someone visits your GitHub profile. So back in the actual repository, what I wanna start with is adding a banner, a banner image to the description, to my readme. Uh, so I wanna add this locally. So I'm gonna add a file and I'm gonna upload a file and I'm gonna commit those changes. So now we can see a GitHub banner has been uploaded. I wanna make sure it works and there you go. So this is the banner. This is basically the banner that I have on my YouTube channel. And I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. I've gone back into Monica's uh, repo and I'm gonna copy the image tag that she has and that whole thing, copy that over there and I'm gonna paste that into my readme. And I'm gonna put this at the top. And now this URL, I uh, don't need to use that. So I can do in demo. And then the name of the actual repo. And then I need to get the name of the actual uh, image. So GitHub banner. Okay, so I've pasted that in. I've changed the URL to the actual image that I have here. And I've changed the alt text that just to say banner that says Ian Lenahan, front end developer. So let's have a quick preview of that. And there you go, it stands out uh, straight away. So I've got this little banner. It's got my cheesy picture on it. And, and then we have the uh, dummy intro. So I'm not gonna really change this text for the purposes of, of this demo. But what I wanna do now is have a look at the GitHub stats. And there is a uh, repo here, GitHub Readme Stats, um, that has been created by this guy and we've looked at his profile already. Uh, so I'm gonna go down here and the instructions are very simple. We can just copy this link from here and I'm gonna paste it into here and I'll do a little header, my GitHub Stats. Paste that down here and then I'll say, Ian's demo GitHub stats, and I'm not gonna have any because this is a brand new um, account, but just need to change the username. And then let's see if that works. Preview. And there we go. We have the GitHub stats added to the readme. Uh, total commits is three, which are the ones that I've done in this video. Um, and I've got an A plus rating for some reason, but I'll take it, I'm happy with that. Um, the last thing we'll do is see if we can add a GIF. So I've gone in here and I've already looked for developer GIFs and I'm gonna copy this link and go back to edit file. And the syntax for this is exclamation mark and then square brackets and in here we'll put our alt text. So I'm just gonna say developer GIF or GIF if you're so inclined. And then in brackets or parentheses, just paste in the URL. And let's make sure that that worked. And there you go. So you've got a GIF, you've got GitHub stats, we've done a banner image, and then we have used the, the default uh, bullet points with emojis. So hopefully that's given you a few ideas. I'd love to see what you come up with, or if you already have your own GitHub profiles, uh, can you link to them in the comments below and I'll have a look. Um, be really cool to see what you guys are working on. Um, so that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.